Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Sunday, the fifth day of June 2022. We're looking today at the topic, the power of the blessing. I want to appreciate every one of you for your lovely greetings yesterday. To God's servant, the Lord answer you and bless you in the name of Jesus. Now let's look at our Bible reading for today. It says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Thought for the day, the blessing imparts the supernatural force for the commencement of new beginnings. The blessing of God is the goodwill or divine backing over a person's life and destiny. When God puts his blessing on a person, it's like God telling the person, I am behind me, behind you. Nothing can stop you. I back you up. It is well with you. And when God does that, he, he backs you up. Beloved, if God backs you up, who can face you? If God backs you, who can confront you? Now, what is the power of the blessing? Let's take a look at them very quickly. Number one, the blessing imparts the supernatural force for the commencement of new beginnings. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. At creation, God gave Adam the blessing because he wanted to begin something new. Whether it is a marriage, a ministry, or a business, when the blessing comes upon you, you can start it and succeed in it. Number two, the blessing imparts the supernatural force to the activation of potentials and the exhibition of productivity. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 to 20, uh, 26 to 28. When the blessing of God is upon your life, your potentials are released and your productivity is multiplied. Number three, the blessing imparts the supernatural force that positions people for generational influence and impact. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. So beloved, the blessing makes a person to be a generational influencer. You do not live and die anyhow. Your generation feels your presence as well as your absence. Our counsel is make up your mind not to exist without the blessing. Do all it takes to attract God's blessings to your life. Be faithful and diligent in covenant practices. Remember this, the blessing imparts the supernatural force for the commencement of new beginnings. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to, ex to exist with the blessing, never to exist without the blessing. And number two, two do all it takes to connect the blessing for a change of life and destiny. Come under a prophetic cover and do not fail to maintain your covenant practices. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I connect with the blessing for the breaking of every curse on my life. I receive the grace to be faithful in my covenant practices in order to experience the blessing of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to pray for you today. You'd like to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to uh, bless somebody today whose birthday it is today. I declare the blessing of God upon you. Uh, help from above upon you and grace upon you in Jesus' name.